So mayroon po tayong update ngayon mga sangkay regarding po doon sa naging eleksyon doon sa bansang Amerika na masyadong pinag-uusapan ngayon sa international. Itong katunggali daw po ni uh, President-elect Donald Trump na si Kamala Harris ay nagsalita na. Hello guys, this is me, Sangka Janjana. I'm back for another vlog today. Kamusta po kayong lahat? Kung ikaw ay isang solid sangkay, mag-comment ka po sa ibaba ng hashtag solid sangkay kasama po ang inyong mga lugar o lokasyon para makilala ka rin ng iba pang mga solid sangkay. Ayos ba yun? Ngayon, sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag-subscribe, eto, tayo po ay 1.33 million subscribers na dito sa YouTube. So kung ikaw ay hindi pa nakakapag-subscribe, ano pang hinihintay mo? Makikita nyo po yung subscribe button sa baba ng video na to. Ang gawin nyo lamang mga sangkay, i-click nyo po yung subscribe, click ang bell, at i-click nyo po yung all. Sa mga nanunod po sa Facebook, i-follow nyo po yung ating Facebook page. At eto guys, pag-usapan po natin ngayon mga sangkay. Talamin po natin. Kasi nag na daw po itong si Harris. Itong katunggali po ni uh, President-elect Donald Trump. Grabe no? Sa pangalawang pagkakataon, tinatawag po ito ng maraming mga leader na the greatest comeback ng isang leader ng bansang Amerika. Bibihira daw po itong mangyari mga sangkay. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, parang pangalawa pa lamang po ata itong si Donald Trump. Correct me if I'm wrong, pero yun po yung pagkakarinig natin sa mga reporter. Ngayon mga sangkay, ano nga kaya ang sinabi ni Harris? Tingnan po natin ha, yung transition doon sa bansang Amerika. Malayong malayo po ito sa Pilipinas. Uh, kahit pa paano, may, medyo may pagkakaparehas mga sangkay since presidential system. Pero ang kinagandahan sa bansang Amerika, kapag ka natalo ka, kailangan mong magpakita sa mga supporters mo sa buong bansang Amerika at magkukonsid ka, magsasalita ka. That you are supporting the new elected official. Ngayon, mga sangkay, tingnan po natin. Ano kaya ang sinabi ni Harris? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Naiiyak pa siya dito, mga sangkay. So let me say, and I love you back. And I love you back. So let me say, My heart is full today. My heart is full today. Full of gratitude for the trust you have placed in me. Full of love for our country. And full of resolve. The outcome of this election is not what we wanted. Not what we fought for. Not what we voted for. But hear me when I say, hear me when I say, the light of America's promise will always burn bright. As long as we never give up and as long as we keep fighting. To my beloved Doug and our family, I love you so very much. <laughs> to President Biden and Dr. Biden, thank you for your faith and support. <laughs> to Governor Walls and the Walls family, I know your service to our nation will continue. <laughs> and to my extraordinary team, to the volunteers who gave so much of themselves, to the poll workers and the local election officials, I thank you, I thank you all. Look, I am so proud of the race we ran, and the way we ran it, and the way we ran it. Over the 107 days of this campaign, we have been intentional about building community 
and building coalitions, bringing people together from every walk of life and background, united by love of country, with enthusiasm and joy in our fight for America's future. And we did it with the knowledge that we all have so much more in common than what separates us. Now I know folks are feeling and experiencing a range of emotions right now. I get it. <laughs> but we must accept the results of this election. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him Nag-usap sila ni Donald Trump, mga sangka. Ayan po ha, klaro po. Mula sa kanya, nag-usap po sila. Tinawagan na po niya si President-elect Donald Trump at pinakakalman niya po yung mga supporters ni Kamala Harris. Kahit pa paano, mga sangka, ito po yung positive na part sa US, mga sangka. Kahit pa paano, no, na kapag ka natatalo ka, kailangan mo mag-concede, kailangan mong tanggapin ang pagkatalo mo. Yung sinasabi po ni ni Kamala Harris na kailangan natin tanggapin ang naging resulta ng halala na ito. That we will help him and his team with their transition. And that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. Diba, mga sangkay? A fundamental principle of American democracy is that when we lose an election, we accept the results. That principle, as much as any other, distinguishes democracy from monarchy or tyranny. And anyone who seeks the public trust must honor it. At the same time, in our nation, we owe loyalty not to a president or a party, but to the Constitution of the United States. and loyalty to our conscience and to our God. My allegiance to all three is why I am here to say, while I concede this election, I do not concede the fight that fueled this campaign. The fight the fight for freedom, for opportunity, for fairness, and the dignity of all people. A fight for the ideals at the heart of our nation, the ideals that, that reflect America at our best. That is a fight I will never give up. I will never give up the fight for a future where Americans can pursue their dreams, ambitions, and aspirations, where the women of America have the freedom to make decisions about their own body and not have their government telling them what to do. We will never give up the fight to protect our schools and our streets from gun violence. And America, we will never give up the fight for our democracy, for the rule of law, for equal justice, and for the sacred idea that every one of us, no matter who we are or where we start out, has certain fundamental rights and freedoms that must be respected and upheld. And we will continue to wage this fight in the voting booth, in the courts, and in the public square. And we will also wage it in quieter ways. In how how we live our lives by treating one another with kindness and respect.
by looking in the face of a stranger and seeing a neighbor, by always using our strength to lift people up, to fight for the dignity that all people deserve. The fight for our freedom will take hard work, but like I always say, we like hard work. Hard work is good work. Hard work can be joyful work. And the fight for our country is always worth it. It is always worth it. To the young people who are watching, it is I love you. So halos karamihan ng support uh, supporters nitong si Kamala Harris is mga mga kabataan, mga sangkay. Parang si Lenny Robredo lang din po ng Pilipinas. Kaya nga lang, ang super majority kasi ng United States of America pa rin po yung magde-decide. No, hindi po yung mga edad lamang po na yun, mga sangkay. To the young people who are watching, it is okay to feel sad and disappointed. But please know it's going to be okay. On the campaign, I would often say, when we fight, we win. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Sometimes the fight takes a while. That doesn't mean we won't win. That doesn't mean we won't win. The important thing is don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Don't ever stop trying to make the world a better place. You have power. You have power. And don't you ever listen when anyone tells you something is impossible because it has never been done before. You have the capacity to do extraordinary good in the world. And so to everyone who is watching, do not despair. This is not a time to throw up our hands. This is a time to roll up our sleeves. This is a time to organize, to mobilize, and to stay engaged for the sake of freedom and justice and the future that we all know we can build together. Look, many of you know I started out as a prosecutor and throughout my career I saw people at some of the worst times in their lives. Okay, so yan po yung speech ni Kamala Harris sa kanyang pagkatalo bilang isang uh, kandidato sa pagkapangulo ng bansang Amerika. At for me, ah, mga sangkay, ako bilang isang nag-uobserba sa sitwasyon ng ating mundo, mga leader ng iba't ibang mga bansa, especially sa bansang Amerika. For me, mga sangkay, naniniwala ako na ang bansang Amerika ay nasa safe na kamay. Dahil ang mamumuno po sa kanila ay si Donald Trump na mayroon pong pananampalataya sa Diyos. Si Donald Trump, mga sangkay, na muli ibabalik po niya, mga sangkay, yung kung ano po ang mayroon sa bansang Amerika na kung saan mayroon pong pananampalataya at muling nagtitiwala sa Diyos. Kasi ito po yung nawala, mga sangkay, sa US. Eh. No? Though Christian nation sila, pero kung pupunta ka sa Amerika, mga sangkay, makikita mo sa mga balita, kahit saan ka man, na ang US, eh, grabe na po ang lala pagdating po sa mga kalukuhan na ginagawa po ng tao. Naabuso po ang kalayaan, mga sangkay. Ang Biblia po ay, ay hindi na po itinuturo sa eskwelahan, mga sangkay. Maging ang mga kabataan doon, mga sangkay, eh, masyado na pong violente. So, yan po yung naging isang problema, mga sangkay, sa US. Nabago po ang culture nila dahil po sa mga namuno din. Kagaya po nila Barack Obama, Joe Biden, at kung sino pang mga namuno, mga sangkay, And here we go again. Ang US ngayon ay 
muli ay ayon po kay Joe ah, kay Donald Trump ibabalik niya po sa golden era itong United States of America at ibabalik niya po ang era ng US na mayroon pong pananampalataya muli sa ating Panginoong Diyos mga sangkay which is uh, good no alam kong ibe-bless ng Panginoong ang bansang Amerika kasi biblical mga sangkay ang sino mang nananampalataya at nagpapakumbaba o humihingi ng kapatawaran sa Diyos na bansa o lupain pagagalingin po ng ating Panginoon no biblical po yan mga sangkay at eto Mukhang ang ang possible na mangyayari mga sangkay sa time ni Trump, mababalik muli ang Bible study sa loob ng White House. Magkakaroon na naman po ng mga pagtitipon kasama ang presidente ng Amerika, kasama po ang pananalangin mga sangkay. Marami na naman pong uh, change ang magaganap mga sangkay at itutuwid ni Donald Trump. Medyo ano lang mga sangkay, matigas si Donald Trump talaga magsalita. Kasi yun po dapat ang leader eh, mga sangkay. Meron kang ano mayroon kang diinan pagdating po sa mga desisyon at pananalita mo. So ano po ang inyong opinion, mga sangkay, sa pagkonsid ni Kamala Harris? Ikaw ba ay nakumbinsi sa kanyang mga sinabi, mga sangkay? E-comment niyo po sa ibabang inyong mga opinion. Meron po tayong isang YouTube channel, Sangkay Revelation. Dito, mga sangkay, nag-upload po tayo ng mga mahalagang topic tulad po ng mga Bible prophecy, magaganda at mga interesting topic na in-upload po natin dito. So, hanapin niyo po ito sa YouTube, Sangkay Revelation. Kapag nakita niyo na, i-click niyo lamang yung subscribe, i-click ang bell, at i-click niyo po yung all. Ako na po ay magpapaalam. Mag-iingat po ang lahat. God bless everyone.